Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're going to take a converging lens, place the object at twice the distance away from the lens compared to the focal length, and then begin to move the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point to see what will happen. Well, first of all, when it's at twice the distance away from the lens as the focal length, then the same thing will happen as on the previous. You'll see in just a moment, you draw the first ray to the lens, it diverges or bends, goes to the focal point, you draw the second to the focal point up, not quite where it needs to be. There we go to the focal point until it hits the lens. Then it diverges and moves parallel with the optical axis where the two converge. That's where the image will appear. And using the equation, S prime equals SF over S minus F, S prime is equal to in this case, let's see here, we had a focal length of 20 centimeters and a distance s is equal to 2 times the focal length, which is equal to 40 centimeters. So we have 40 centimeters here times 20 divided by 40 minus 20, which is 800 divided by 20, which is 40 centimeters. That means that if you place the object at exactly twice the distance away from the lens as the focal length, the image will be twice the distance away from the lens as the focal length. In other words, the distance from the object to the lens will be the same as the distance from the lens to the image. And so S prime is also 40 centimeters. The fact that it's a positive 40 centimeters means that it's a real image on the other side of the lens. The magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, which is minus 40 over 40, which is minus 1. 1 means that the image size is exactly the same as the object size. Negative means that the image is upside down. Now let's move the object to a distance of 30 centimeters. So now S is equal to 30 centimeters, which is 1.5 times the focal length. So we moved it exactly halfway between where it was before and the focal point, we moved it to the halfway point in between, 30 centimeters away, what will happen to the image? Well, graphically, and notice I did make the object shorter here, otherwise it makes it too difficult to draw. The first ray will be parallel to the optical axis and through the focal point. The second one will be through the focal point until it hits the lens. Notice that this is a much steeper line, and notice now that they will not meet until a point farther away. So you can see that the image now moves farther away from the focal point as the object moves closer to the focal point here. There's your image. If we want to find the distance, here we can say that the S prime is equal to SF over S minus F. Again, S is the distance to the object. S prime is the distance to the image. We get S is now 30 centimeters times 20 divided by 30 minus 20 which is 600 divided by 10, or 60 centimeters. Notice that this is now half the distance from the lens to the focal point, and this is twice the distance from the lens to the focal point. So this distance is 1 half f, and this distance here now becomes 2 times f. Again, see the relationship there. The magnification, magnification is equal to minus s prime over s, which is minus 60 over 30, which is minus 2. Again, the number 2 is number 2 here, the number 2 there. See the relationship. Now the image is twice the size as the object. The negative still means that it's inverted or upside down. So now let's place it really close. Now let's place this at a distance of 22 centimeters. S is equal to 22 centimeters, which means that this distance here is one-tenth the focal length. What happens to the image now? Again, graphically, you can see that if when you draw a line this way, and then it bends to the focal point, it goes on, and the second one through the focal point here until it hits the lens, and then it goes on, you can see that you have to go a very long ways away until the two lines meet and the image will be over there. Notice the image is now really far away and the size of the image is much greater than the size of the object. Try to find the distance, 
s prime is equal to sf over s minus f is equal to s is 22, f is now 20 divided by 22 minus 20, which is 440 divided by 2, which is equal to 220 centimeters. Notice that this is one tenth the distance. I'll do it graphically here. This distance is, is one tenth the distance to the focal point. And over here, you can see that this distance between the focal point and the image, this distance is 10 times the focal length. So this is one tenth the focal length, this is 10 times the focal length. And if you want to see the magnification of the image, the magnification is equal to minus s prime over s, which is minus 220 divided by 22, which is a minus 10. There's a the number 10 again. Negative means that it's inverted. 10 means that the image size is 10 times the object size, and the distance from the focal point to the image is 10 times the focal length. And here, the distance from the object to the focal point is 1 tenth the focal length. And that's where the relationship comes in between the object and image. As you start from a distance twice, the focal length distance from the lens, and you start moving it closer and closer and closer. What will happen in the limit as the object approaches the focal point? Well, the image will continue to move farther and farther back, and at the moment that you reach the focal point, the image will be infinitely far away and will be infinitely large. So the magnification will be infinite, it will be a negative number because it's upside down, and the image will be infinitely far away. Again, from a practical perspective, you don't want to put the object at the focal point. You always want to put it slightly in front of it if you want a real image on the other side of the lens. And that's how it's done.